you're grounded. Ronald, go to school right now. Oh, ouch. Good morning, Ronald. I'm off to the supermarket. Have a good day, Ronald. Good morning, class. I hope that you're all ready for the math test today. Banjo, you shouldn't have any problems with it. And Ronald. I'm not even sure if I'm willing to check your answers. God have mercy on my soul when it comes time to grade your test. Excuse me, but I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, oh no. no. I have, I not, have studied not studied for this, for this test. test. Oh, oh my god, god, oh my god. god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fail. fail. What, what can, can I, I do? I have I no have clue, clue what any of these problems, problems mean. mean. Alright, Ronald, Ronald, calm, calm down. down. But, still, but still, I need, I need to, figure to figure out some way to pass, pass this test, test or nature, nature can't, can't, can't scream at me and ground me. And just what the heck do you think you're doing, Ronald? Not cheating, are you? Boom. Banjo, why did your voice change to Miss Christina's? Hey, Banjo, come on in. We busted him. Nice job, Miss Christina. Boom. Miss Christina, I can explain. You see, I. I don't want to hear it. Get the frick out of my classroom now. <laughs> you know what? That's it. I can't believe that I have once again been foiled by that loser woodpile cat banjo. I am completely fed up with it. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh. I've got a spectacular idea. Instead of going to Ms. Brenner's office as usual, I'm gonna leave this building and set the forest of Dapplewood on fire. Ha 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 ha. Nature Cat and his friends aren't home. Good. Now if I'm going to set Dapplewood on fire, I need something flammable. No way. There's a can of gasoline and a box of matches. Those things are perfect. You bet I'm taking those. It's time to head down to Dapple Wood. Okay, this is the place. Now let's burn this place down. Ha 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 Nine one one. What is your emergency? I'm in a tree, and it's burning. There's fire everywhere. Where are you right now? I live in Dapplewood. Okay, and do you know where that is? It's in a forest. Okay. The forest of Dapplewood, is that correct? Yes. Okay, we need to send aid to you. And what's your name? Abigail. Okay. Oh gosh, Russell is laying down on the ground. Who's Russell? He's a hedgehog. Got it. He's laying down on the ground and he's not breathing. He's not breathing? He's not breathing. Can you get to a window? There aren't any windows in here. That doesn't make any sense. Are you sure there are no windows or a door you can reach? Edgar is lying down unconscious. Who's Edgar? He's a mole. Okay, let him be. Yeah, he's dying. That's not important right now. Oh my gosh. It's okay. Ugh 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 ugh. Okay. I need you to get down on the ground. There's smoke everywhere. 
I need you to get down on the ground below the smoke. Okay. Stay low. Oh yeah? Just get to the nearest doorway. Oh Russell. Russell is not breathing. We're trying to dispatch aid to you. We're trying to trace the phone call. Please hurry. That's okay, Will. Besides Edgar who's lying unconscious. Everything is going to be okay. Oh. Is there an exit in the room? Is there any way out of the room? There is a window in Michelle's bedroom. Okay, can you get to the window? Can you reach the window for me? Michelle's on fire. Don't worry about her. I just need you to get to the window. Okay. Okay? All right, I'm by the window. Okay, can you open the window? No. Why not? My arms are too small. I can't lift it. Is there anything you can break the window with? I could probably use Russell. No, you don't want to use Russell. I'm gonna grab Russell. No, no stay by the window. Oh my gosh. It's on fire in here. Go back into the other room. I'm on fire. I need you to go into the other room. My leg is on fire. Okay, okay. What am I supposed to do? Stop, drop and roll. A. Just roll on the fire to put the fire out. I'm on fire. You have to roll around. It's burning my fur. You have to roll around. It will put the fire out. Ah. I need you to stay calm, Abigail. Oh my leg is black. Abigail I need you to stay calm. Is it working? Is the fire going out? No now my arm is on fire. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Is there anything you would normally do to stay calm? I usually like to sing. Okay, I need you to sing for me. Start singing. Alright? Okay Abigail? Okay. Can you start singing? I'll try. I'll try. Okay. And keep rolling. You've got to keep the fire out. La 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 la. La 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 la. I'm gonna die. Stamp your hands on the ground. My entire body's on fire. Keep rolling. You have to keep rolling. Ah. Just keep singing Abigail. Keep staying calm. I need you to keep singing. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to the coroner's office? <coughs> Abigail? Abigail? Abigail, are you with me? Abigail can you hear me? Oh I'm freaking dying huh? Abigail stay calm. Abigail, stay with me. Stay calm Abigail. I just need you to stay calm. Abigail? Abigail? Help is on the way. Abigail? 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 I think we lost her. Ha 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 ha. That was so funny. Wahoo! My plan worked. I completely burnt down Dapper Wood. I totally did it. Oh, you did it, you? Boom. Nature Cat. How long have you been back there? Oh, I've been back here for a little while, Ronald. You see, I smelled some smoke and looked out the window. I saw smoke billowing into the sky from where Dapplewood was. I had a pretty decent hunch that you were up to your old shenanigans and that you were somehow involved in this whole fiasco. So I waited gladly for you to come home, and you began to dance to look what the cat dragged in, and then you mentioned her sneaky plan. And lo and behold, you did just that. Ronald, is this a joke? Is this some kind of an early April Fool's joke? Well, um, is what a joke? You know good and freaking well what I'm talking about, Ronald. Did you? Without a doubt? Seriously? Burn down the whole forest of Dapplewood? Boom. Well. Boom. Boom. Well. Maybe a little. Hey. Oh my freaking god. Never. In all my my life as a backyard explorer extraordinaire, have I ever seen anybody do something as sick as this? You are just sick. How could you freaking burn down the whole forest of Dapplewood? What a love of nature is wrong with your world. Now what seems to be the trouble here? You guys, 
You will never believe what Ronald just did. Well, Nature Cat, what did Ronald do this time? Well, he... Ronald, Ronald the Purple, purple Cat, cat. You're, you're under, under arrest, arrest for countless acts, acts of arson and, and first-degree first premeditated murder. You have no rights at all. Let's go to the police car right now. Court is now in session. This court is now in session. Your Honor, Ronald has been charged with bringing a can of gasoline and a box of matches into the forest of Dapplewood, burning it down and resulting in the deaths of seven wood mice, six moles, thirteen hedgehogs, nine squirrels, five rabbits, twelve chipmunks, eight badgers, and four skunks, including the furlings. I see. And what does the court find him? Wait. Don't I get a chance to defend myself? No you do not. Anyway, how do you find him? Guilty. 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 I plead not guilty. Shut your fat mouth Ronald. I find you guilty as charged. I hereby sentence you to be grounded by Nature Cat for a very long time. And to spend the rest of your life in prison. Wait your honor. May I approach the stand? Um, sure. Oh, that's a much better idea. Okay. Well never mind my previous sentencing. Instead of spending the rest of your time in jail we have a much better sentence for you. Ronald, the purple cat. I hereby sentence you. To death. You shall be executed by the bow and arrow squad which will consist of Nature Cat and his friends, Cornelius, and Vince. Guards, take him away. Court adjourned! Please? Guys. I'm really sorry. Please don't do this. Ronald. I have lost my niece Michelle because of you. You rightfully deserve this. I agree with Cornelius. This is also what you get in vengeance for the loss of my lovely daughter, Abigail. Ronald, you are the worst cat anyone could ever have. I hope these arrows really hurt. What she said. Ronald, you are also an absolute disgrace to us. I wish that you'd never existed on the show. You stupid good-for-nothing piece of trash. I hate you with such a fiery hot passion. I agree with Hal. You have done so many bad deeds to us in the past. I hope these arrows hurt so bad. Ronald, I just wanted to say that you are a horrible feline and that I wish you never existed on my show. I can't stand having you in my life anymore. You mean absolutely nothing to me. I've come so close several times to just putting you up for adoption. But I think that would just be rude to the store managers. Ronald, you are such a burden on us and I can't imagine that anybody in Go City would ever want to adopt someone like you. You are a constant, oldly thorn in our sights. Nobody in Go City loves you, especially not me. I am so excited to shoot this arrow. Once you're dead, I'm gonna dance on your grave and party all night. I hope you rot in hell you fat and annoying piece of garbage. It's time to say nighty night Ronald. Oh, and by the way, you're grounded. <laughs> Thank you.